Hi, I'm Karen Bosick. I'm with Iron Sun Valley. I'm sitting here today with Carol Glenn, who is a longtime ceramic artist, and she's got a show for the next couple months at Ochi Gallery in Ketchum, and it features some amazing new ceramic work that she's doing. Thank you for joining us, Carol. Um, <laughs> I, I know you came to Sun Valley 35 years ago, a kid from Brooklyn. I How in the world did you come? To the Sun Valley Center of the Arts, which has unfortunately been long forgotten by a lot of people. I came here because there was the best ceramic school in America, wow. in Sun Valley, Idaho. Wow. It was run by Jim Belson, mm -hmm. whose wife appeared in my house in California. She was a friend of a friend. Uh -huh. And she said, why are you here working all by yourself? I had a big kill that I had built. I had a studio there, had my little children, and I just worked. And she said, why don't you come and be around people and see Idaho? I went, OK, I'll give it a try. And I came here, and of course, it was changed my life. I never left. Uh -huh. And the school was um, unbelievable. It was where the community school is now. And we had about 20 kills in the backyard. And incredible artist, Jim Romberg, was mm -hmm. the greatest him. artist who mm -hmm. had studied with Paul Soldner, who had studied with Peter Volkus and uh -huh. all the great, great artists. And it was so inspiring. And I learned so much from all of these people who were there, the students and the teachers. Uh -huh. Now, you and your husband, Scott Glenn, who some of you may know, is a famous actor, the right stuff, all of that. <laughs> um, did you just go home and tell them, I we're did. packing up, we're moving to well, Idaho? Well, you know what? At that time, he was unemployed. Oh. This, the beginning of his career, we had a lot of time waiting and hoping. <laughs> and uh, he wasn't working at the time. And I arranged for him to go on a hiking trip with a guide named uh -huh. Eric Ryback. And they went into the, somewhere in the Sawtooths for 10 days. Uh -huh. And he loved it. And I had two young children. They started ice skating at the Sun Valley Rink, two young daughters. And everybody loved it here. Uh -huh. The family really felt good here. Uh -huh. Scott never really loved living in L.A., oh. never was, you know, party guy, mm -hmm. never got a job like that. That's uh -huh. not the way you really get a job in Hollywood. Uh -huh. You work at your craft. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And he always worked at his craft. Uh -huh. And little by little, he started getting calls. In fact, when we made the decision to live here, he got a call from... Um, to come and audition for the role in Urban Cowboy. Jim Bridges was the director and called him. And once he did that role, he never had to audition again. People would just call. And he lived in Sun Valley, Idaho. Wow. Wow. That's worked pretty out. cool. It worked out Have really you well. Taken. Eat it too. <laughs> in the meantime, you're just as fastidious at your craft. What got you so interested in ceramics? Well, I think it was an artist who I watched work in Woodstock, New York. Scott and I at the time worked in New York City, and not, I wasn't an artist at that time. And I, we would go to Woodstock, New York on the weekends, and we had a friend who had a house, and there was a potter who lived there. And I would just watch her and just think, oh, isn't that amazing? I would love to be able to do that. And I started studying. And I think it takes a long time. <laughs> Here I've been working for many, many years. And 
and um, I'm still learning, still doing new things. Mm -hmm. And I just love it. I don't know. It, it's, it sang to me. Uh -huh. Although when I was at the um, Sun Valley Center, one of my teachers said I was making large porcelain platters and making designs on them. He'd say, well, why don't you just work on paper a little bit? And so I started painting for a while just to get designs done. And I really enjoyed doing that. And I was able to do that when I was on the road with Scott. I would carry little watercolors yeah. and watercolor paper and beautiful brushes. Mm -hmm. And that kept me going when I was away uh -huh. from my studio. And of course, Ochi Gallery showed some of that art in their gallery. That's true. That's true. And then, next we know, hand me that book over there. <laughs> next we know, <laughs> you're even coming out with a coffee table book. Of some of the beautiful dinnerware that you've made, you've had commissions from dozens of families to make dinnerware, and, and this takes two to three months per set, right? That's right. Wow. My most exciting one, now, a lot of people probably don't even remember Burt Lancaster. Oh. <laughs> but Scott did a movie when he, with him when he was quite young. Uh -huh. And one day we're standing around, like you do when you're making movies a lot. You wait a lot. And um, he said to me, well, what do you do? I said, well, I'm a potter. He goes, I want you to come to my house and see my collection. And then I want you to make a dinnerware for me. And so I said, great. Love to. <laughs> <laughs> well, I went to his house. And you know what his collection was? All Picasso pottery. Oh. Oh my God, they were so gorgeous. <laughs> I was so intimidated. <laughs> but I made him. But you did it? A really, yeah, really cool dinnerware. Oh, that is so cool. We've been talking to Carol Glenn, who is one of Sun Valley's premier ceramic artists. We're going to take a quick break, and I'll see you in a couple minutes. I'm Derek Agnew, General Manager of Zenergy Health Club and Spa, and I want to take you inside and show you what we've done with our new Pivot Studio, which is going to blow you away. The therapists tell me that Pivot really is the game changer. It fills that final gap that we we're missing at Zenergy, things they could not do in our main gym. The recent addition of the Pivot Studio has meant wonders to me as a physical therapist. I can now take care of the most vulnerable post-operative patient, but now I can include programming that challenges the most elite athlete. Are you like me and can't stand paying your insurance bill? Just when you pay all your bills for the month, then along comes that dreaded insurance bill, putting the hurt on your checking account. Hello, I'm Mark Balcos, president of Wood River Insurance. That's why Wood River Insurance is an independent insurance agency. This means we have a multiple of insurance companies we offer to our clients. This allows us to hold the insurance companies accountable for coverage, service, and most important of all, pricing. When I started in this business 33 years ago, I only represented one company to my customers. And after a while, I felt as though my hands were tied when trying to be as competitive as I could. As an independent insurance agency, we represent you to the insurance company, not the insurance company to you. This allows Wood River Insurance to be as competitive as possible. So call us today at 208-788-1100 and let Wood River Insurance represent you. No matter your taste or personal style, the shopping in Sun Valley has what you need for a day in the mountains or elegant night on the town. From bike sales, rentals, repair, outdoor accessories and souvenirs, to high-end, on-trend fashion and sportwear, including a hip, modern women's boutique, there is something for everyone in the Sun Valley Village. Don't forget about the kids. 
stepping foot in the toy store is a dream come true for the little ones. The Sun Valley Village shopping options blend a touch of European style with Main Street USA hospitality, all in a charming mountain town setting. Hi, thanks for rejoining us. I'm Karen Bosick with Iron Sun Valley, and we're back with Carol Glenn. Yeah. Now, um, after doing all this dinnerware, pe people saw this when you came out with an exhibit at Ochi, uh -huh. and everybody, of course, wanted a piece of it. So you've been doing it and doing it and doing it, and finally, you and Scott went to some weird, awful place in Massachusetts <laughs> so he could film a show called Castle Rock, which Stephen, uh, 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 Stephen King came up with. And you fell in love with a new way of creating pottery, right? That's true. Uh, or ceramic. That is tell, true. Tell me about that. When I travel, I look. I go to museums, and I go to, to see what other potters have done, and I just look at everything, and I get ideas, you know, and then you start researching the glazes that you could buy these days that are powder form. You mix them with water, and I just found this amazing glaze that surprised me in a wonderful way. I feel like I can't even take credit for any of it. It's just magical but people have really fallen in love with it and you call this your craters of the moon yep city yeah yeah we passed by it it's what 85 miles no less than that maybe 35 miles south down the road <laughs> down the road from ketchum and we drive through it on our way to twin uh -huh. and you look around you and we go oh that's really something, isn't it? Yeah, that's where that's, the lava erupted or, or oozed out of cracks and vents about 2,000 years ago. So it's fairly recent. Exactly. And supposedly the astronauts trained there because you it was knew so that. much like the moon. I read so, that. Uh, so, <laughs> Craters of the Moon National Monument and Park. So it's a really right. cool place to go. It, but, but, but your pottery kind of evokes that with, with a little aha, aha, and <laughs> the, the smooth type of glaze, and then we have the pahoe, oe. I mean, it, it's just pretty amazing. Now, another interesting feature in your new exhibit are these ceramic ware that have cuts in them. How, How about a them? wing? A wing, maybe? A wing, okay. <laughs> I'll go with the wing. But, um, Just, uh, <laughs> <laughs> that, that's something to uh, cut into your pottery. I've never seen that before. Took a lot of nerve, I'll tell you. <laughs> I tried to make the perfect pot. And then I went in and just cut right into it. Whoa, whoa. And it's not really usable as a kitchen but item. It's beautiful. <laughs> it's beautiful. I, I suppose you could do something with it, but but but, but, but really to look at, I think. Tell me about the process. You can't cut the moment you take it off the potter's wheel. No, can you? no. It, what it, what it, happens to happen? It needs to dry. This needs to stay semi moist. Mm. Uh -huh. This needs to dry. You have to be able to turn it over like this at first uh -huh. to trim the bottom. Then you turn it back when uh -huh. that's all done, and then you make your cuts. Okay. And you told me that you do something called control drying, where you put plastic over it and let it set for a couple of days, actually. I think most potters really do that. Okay. It's okay. just a way to keep it under control. Uh -huh. It doesn't dry too fast. Uh -huh. If it dries too fast, it could crack. Uh -huh. Oh, okay. You know, okay. and sometimes you don't know until you put it in the kiln and you fire it, and it uh -huh. could crack. And I so you, everything's kind of slow. You got to have mm -hmm. patience, yeah. which isn't always easy. But the fact we're in Idaho, 
if it's dry air, does that yes. enter into it? You have to really watch it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So after you make the cut, what happens next? Then I fire them. You fire them. Okay. They dry a little bit more. Mm -hmm. I let them dry f maybe mm -hmm. another week or so. They have to be really, really dry. Mm -hmm. And the way you know, uh -huh. because when you touch the bottom, if it's cold, it's still wet. So you let it really dry. Then you fire it in the kiln. Then you glaze it. And then you fire it again. Mm -hmm. So you have to have the patience of Job to be a ceramic artist. It's fun. It's really <laughs> fun. And it's always changing. Uh -huh. It's always different. Now you, as we've mentioned before, have this beautiful coffee table book showcasing your art. Yes. And I understand that you're about to come out with a smaller book that will showcase your husband's art. Yes. Tell me about that. He's a really good poet. A poet? And loves it. And he's been writing me poems for 50 years. Love poems? Love poems. Love poems. Every year for our anniversary or Christmas. or And I save them. Aww. And we're going to show them to people. Oh. I hope they love them. <laughs> so you decided that the world should see I do. Scott's they're, love. they're fun. They're wonderful. Uh -huh. They're amusing. They take you all over the world where we've been traveling, oh, different places, so and stories about different places. Uh -huh. So I think it's great. Oh, I can't wait. I can't wait. OK, um, as I understand, that book should be out in time for Valentine's Day. So keep that on your list of <laughs> Valentine pleasures. Thank you for joining us. Thank you, Carol. Thank you. Go see her work at Ochi Gallery in Ketchum. And until next time, I'm Karen Bossick. I'm keeping my eye on Sun Valley for you. Eye on Sun Valley, daily local news from beautiful Sun Valley, Idaho. Better food, better price, better service. Atkinson's Market, supporting local farmers since 1956. Are you tired of being tired? Wouldn't you like to have more energy and not be so run down? Hi, I'm Dr. John Calvert with Sun Valley Smile Designs and Dental Sleep Health. That's right, a dentist who treats sleep breathing disorders and sleep apnea. You may be one of the millions of people that suffer from sleep apnea depriving you of the quality of sleep that you need. You may not be aware of the serious physical problems with untreated sleep apnea. High blood pressure, diabetes, and stroke are just a few. 
For those of you that have sleep apnea but are just not able to tolerate your CPAP unit, there is help right here in Ketchum. I have over 17 years of advanced training in sleep health and I can treat your sleep apnea including annoying snoring from beginning diagnosis all the way through treatment. No need to travel hours away for overnight sleep studies. I'll provide you with a complimentary, complete computer airway evaluation and consultation. Give my office a call and I can help you feel more rested and have more energy. Sleep well, live well. Come see us at Sun Valley Smile Designs and Sun Valley Sleep Health. The most exciting part about making custom jewelry is giving them something that's exactly what they described. I've drawn it on paper and now it's a three-dimensional piece and it's a finished piece and it has diamonds or sapphires or whatever the stone might be. It's what was their envisioned piece of jewelry and I get to complete that for them. I get to fulfill their dreams by building what they want. So we truly are thankful for the business that we have locally and appreciate our customers and want to thank our customers for doing business with us over the last 20 years. Can I get a make my day?